Black Wing Pendulums, baby. Let's go. Let's go. I'm hyped for today's video. Make sure to subscribe, guys. Hit the notification bell. This might be a long combo video. I'm going to get right into it. Check out the new playmat. Truth Gaming, since I came by and play, Matt, check out the description below, and let's go. Five-card hand loop. Who needs five negates and can put up a five-card hand loop? Who needs six negates and can put up a six-card hand loop? Let's go. Five-card hand loop. Six-card hand loop. Through any hand trap. Let's go. Kono. Oh. Let's go. I don't care what we draw. We're doing this. Ah. Ah. Ooh. Let's go. This is a great hand. Uh, obviously, what you it makes the combo way easier to draw a Blackman card. We did not draw a Blackman card. That's totally fine. We don't need to draw it all the time. Uh, we might even just save the fluids to send a black wing card, but you can just Electrum will basically send uh, as Light Phoenix, Summon Sorcerer's targeting it, you know, uh, getting the combo. So, Dragon Shrine, you're gonna bring out Dark Worm. Uh, the thing I like about this black wing, uh, black wing pendulum deck is even drawing the by playing the right way. So, with this time, we get to do the combo the normal way. So, I built the oh my god, these cards are backwards. Uh, when I built this deck the first time, I want to make sure to do it without drawing any of the Blackwing cards. We play lots of Blackwing cards to make sure we draw them, but if we don't, you still want access to Summon Sorceress uh, to be able to bring out whatever Blackwing wing you need. So, what we're going to do here is we're going to send out as Light Phoenix, which is also with... I literally thought I was using Electrum Effect, wow. But sometimes you get lost in thought of your beautiful, beautiful ideas, you know? But Shrine, bring out Dark Worm, adding a Gate Zero... Uh, we're going to want to save our normal summon, so we're going to chronograph, bring out Time Gazer. We're going to have skills for sure because of Pen Call. This one, I got Ash, so we're playing like, all hand traps played through. Obviously, we're not going to get hand trapped on this combo because we're showcasing you guys the generic way how to do the combo. All right, so we're going to bring out Time Gazer whenever we see it. Drawing one out, looking for one out of the 60 card decks is rough. I'm going to go to Electrum, and at this point, you need to send the Perform Pole Audis Light Phoenix, which obviously, definitely unfortunate, but. You want to see it yourself, but it's okay. Uh, you're not always going to... Yeah, there's an option to Foolish Burial it, but I'd rather just pen... Uh, we could p Foolish that up. Yeah, we're going to pen call that. But now we're going to send Audience Light Phoenix, because you want to make sure you still have the combo regardless. Uh, uh, regardless of if you draw something or whether you don't. So you don't want to like rely on drawing the Foolish, or you don't want to rely on drawing something. You want to rely on Electrum sending it. Electrum is the greatest toolbox card in the game. Uh, you literally send... There's a reason why I hype up Pendulums to the level that I hype up Pendulums. Electrum, like, it, it, bro, I don't hype it for no reason. Electrum literally says, it says, take any card from your deck and, the like, Electrum, send any card from your deck and put it in play. Like, and you pen summon it. You know what I mean? Like, take any card in Yu-Gi-Oh! history, whether it's a Pendulum or not. Because uh, you send something, like, a, anything, summon sword, the pen summon, like, basically this, Wing Beast, summon sword, bring out any card in the game. So, you know what I mean? Like, you, you get really you're curious. So, you can literally go through any single... any With those cards, you could go through any single combo ever made in history, Beatrice, and uh, do whatever you want in Yu-Gi-Oh! Like, literally, any any card is fair game that's ever been printed in Yu-Gi-Oh! Because Electrum will literally just send it, and uh, you can utilize the whole combo by doing crazy things. So, next up on, on our game plan, we want to be able to pen summon this. We want to be able to pen summon a Harmonizing Magician, and we want to pen summon two level sixes. So you want to keep that in mind in your combo. So we could pen call fool it. We might want to add, pop add first. So what we're gonna do here. We're gonna save the pen call for after we draw to see what we're gonna get. We're gonna pop the gate zero, and we're gonna add. Uh, we're gonna want to pen these. So we're gonna just add dark worm. Uh, it'll be good to have it engraved for the following turns if we discard it. And now we're gonna draw a card. So use electrum to pop the zero. Add dark worm because. Uh, these are going to be pen summon anyways. Um, where, uh, these are the ones you want to pen summon. And now we're going to draw a card. So we draw Zephyros. Uh, so again, uh, Zephyros, drawing Zephyros sucks because we literally have Audi's Light Phoenix. It would have been nice earlier if we had Zephyros. It would make this combo way easier. But we already have the way to go into Zephyros. So now we're going to want to... Uh, we still want to go into level rank 6s. So you're going to want to do this a special way. But we might have... Okay, so here's what we're going to do. But we, we probably should have get gate zero. Yeah, you know what we should have... Instead of getting... The, we're going to add back the the, uh, the gate zero. Uh, just a better play. And I'll show you guys why now. Uh, so we add back gate zero. We're going to now pendulum call the foolish burial. We do not need it. Uh, we don't want to rely on cards like that. Like, uh, Foolish is the one up. It would have been nice to have options to send whatever you need, but we already access to our Black Wings. We're now going to get Harmonizing and our High Scale. Where's Black Fang at? 
not our dragon pit. Now you're gonna have a few options here. Lots of options actually. So what we're gonna do is uh we drew the black wing. So we're gonna go oaf. Wait, we can go oaf and pit. If we did that, we can add auto as like Phoenix. We won't have access to Soul Charge though. Uh because we don't have two level sixes. So in, in a situation where you don't have two level sixes, you do want to go out of your way a bit. We could also summon that. So zero on pit. Summoning, harmonizing, oh, just in theory here. Light Phoenix, Chrono. And then Harmo brings up the level four Magician. And then Beatrice sends Soul Charge. That might be the best play. Yeah, so we'll do that. We'll pretend we're not going to add off the Oath Dragon, which definitely we're going to be less of... Uh, we're not going to have many cards here, but it's totally fine, whatever. So this is the play we're going to do. It's not the typical best play. We're not going to add off Oath, but Harmonizing Oath, and uh, we're going to do it like this. Uh, just to be able to still do the combo, because you want to summon two sixes and uh, two level four Magicians to be able to Enlightenment Paladin. Uh, we're gonna bring a wisdom mind magician. Where you at, bro? Where are you? And this combo sometimes is a little hard, but it, with the right ideas, you could do it. You want to always get soul charge because uh, it, it gives you so many options uh, in terms of your play, and you get to keep a lot of cards. So uh, having Gates here will also help us when we soul charge back to Electrum to add a card to our hand to eventually discard off Gumblar. Because now the goal is literally just to get four cards in hand. Zephyros are gonna end up in grave, but it's gonna add another card, but. We're going to see what we can do here. In fact, yeah, you know, we're going to pen call the Zephyros and keep the Foolish. Uh, it's just better to have Zephyros in Grave, obviously. Uh, and you don't want to rely on drawing the Zephyros afterwards. You want to be able to do this with having Otis Light Phoenix sent from Electrum. So, this is the situation right now. And we're going to go into Beatrice. Beatrice will now send the Soul Charge. Where is the Soul Charge at? Too many one ofs in the 60 card deck, man. Literally the last card. Okay, so send Soul Charge. After that, Beatrice and, and Electrum is going to go into also the Invoker because they're different uh, type attribute. Uh, clearing up space and is how you're going to go into uh, Summon Sorceress. Now with these, you're going to Synchro. Uh, Wisdom gets banished, Harmonizing. Uh, you're going to make Enlightenment Paladin. Enlightenment Paladin effect will go off, allowing you to add back the Soul Charge to your hand. Uh, really allowing you to do so many plays right now. Uh, with that being said, now you have uh, two small casters. Uh, gonna bring out Summon Sorceress. Summon Sorceress effect, target that. Bring out Cloak. At this point, you have lots of options. Uh, so you have Cloak there. You're gonna go Omega with three and five. Cloak effect will trigger, giving you a token. Put that token at the very end. Activate Omega effect. Uh, now you have five cards uh, Five cards left in the hand. You just got rid of one. Now we're going to activate Soul Charge. Uh, let's see here. We're going to activate Soul Charge. We're going to bring out Cloak again. We're going to bring out Electrum for sure. And the way you, you we put them is going to be important. Uh... We're going to bring out Zephyros, Electrum, Invoker. That's probably the best. Yeah, that's going to be the best situation. Uh, we're going to do it like this. We're going to bring it up in this level. Uh, Electrum Effect now. We're going to pop the gate zero. Uh, just to add a card to our hand. Uh, we don't need the... We don't need that. Uh, we'll, we'll, actually, we'll, we'll save it for now, just in case. Uh, next, we're going to go Cloak and Zephyros into the synchro seven the reason i let mercury so the reason why blackwing are so good is simple zephyro like these black i played three zephyros and three cloak why because cloak gonna keep bringing out tokens so cloak brought out one token already it's gonna bring out a second token because the only card effect that's the hard ones per turn is the effect from the graveyard which we haven't even used yet to special itself we haven't even used that effect yet so to special itself from the graveyard by attributing a monster you control the token effect, you bring out three times. You can bring out three tokens in one turn. Zephyros doesn't just summon itself back on field, which you haven't used that effect yet. It also brings a card back to the hand to get rid of with Gumblar. So, as you see, the utility is absolutely incredible. 
So synchro seven, and we have a seven, one, and a one. So what, you, what we're gonna do at this point, you want to gumblar them, but you could trish them first. You can gumblar them first and then trish, but uh, she will probably do that. Just showcase you guys how to do it. Uh, yeah, uh, electrum pop. Okay, 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 okay. So one sec, we're gonna take that back slightly. Okay, so just to showcase, uh, you, you're gonna gumbar. So one card's gone, right? We're gonna. You still wanna. You still 100% wanna attrition them after you gumbar. So you get because uh, they're gonna send the gear effect first. So they have gear effects. You wanna make sure there's no issue. You just banish them. Or if they, uh, you're playing dangerous. Let's say they you pitch jackalope and like uh, whatever, like jackalope, uh, jackalope and Destrudo or something. You know, Trisha will get rid of the jackalope card. Uh, the the card it brings out. It'll get rid of the Destrudo. If you're playing Dark Warrior, you want to get rid of the cards in, the, in their grave, etc, etc. So you want to Trish last. So, at the moment, this is what we have on field. We're going to Electrum Effect, pop the gate zero. Add anything you want in your grave. So we'll add the Dark Worm. Uh, just because these are going to get discarded. Uh, you can activate Foolish if you want, but you're going to go through the whole uh, PK engine anyway. So there's no reason to Foolish right now. So we're just going to let Foolish get discarded. Uh, next, we're going to... Uh, now that we have the top a lot, we're, we're going to do it in this, in this, in this way. So this is like, order is important. And obviously it's not the typical way I do this. And I'm concentrating on the video more so than the combo. So make sure in real life when you are doing these combos, you have to rethink your, you have to think your plays big time because there's lots and lots of options you could do here and well, very easy to misplay. So after you activate Electrum's effect, we're going to use Electrum and the Invoker. Uh, yes, we're going to use Electrum and Invoker to go into Topo Logic. And uh, now the Topo Logic is there, we're going to, now we're going to activate Zephyros and Cloak, we're not gonna activate, we're gonna Synchro to go into Rikiri. And now uh, Topo Logic will trigger getting rid of two cards, Cloak will trigger getting rid, uh, adding a token. So getting rid of Foolish and Dark Worm, you have yet to use Zephyros or Cloak's effect, uh, bringing out a, another token because Cloak just left the field, and then you go into your Trish. This is a tuner. The reason why it's so good because Cloak, uh, Cloak plus is three at least because it gets us up on field as a tuner. It's a tuner to ensure you Omega and Trish, and it brings out three tokens by the end of the combo. Zephyros gets us up on field and gives a card in hand to discard, and this is the level seven tuner, which is the main important part of it. The black wings allow you go Rikiri, which is level seven synchro tuner. If you use a black wing monster, so we go into Trish. I'm gonna put Trish over there. Now we're gonna start utilizing our Zephyros and our cloak. And our next goal here is to go into Rusty. So we're gonna Zephyros. Uh, let's see here. You still got Zephyros and cloak to utilize. So you definitely want to. You got these. We're gonna activate Zephyros effect. Uh, yeah, we're going to activate Zephyr's Effect now to add the Pit to our hand. We're going to save the Cloak for now. Uh, next, we could put Trish and Zephyros. We're going to go into Underclock. Actually, wait, let me think this playthrough. Uh, you still want to have a fatty board by the end of it. So we're going to try Gumblar for or get his cards and be left with a Fog Blade. So that's the end goal here. Uh, what we're going to do is... Uh, we still got a, our extra deck to use, but we don't have much uh, materials for link spam or link climbing. So we're going to activate cloak effect. Having rusty on field is good to have. We activate cloak, which we have not used yet. We could use cloak, get rid of Trish. Yeah, we're going to do that. So cloak, yeah, cloak, Zephyros, and summon Sork will then make rusty. So we'll put rusty over there. A token will then come out. So now we got a token. Uh, so we got a token. Wait, let me think here. It might not even be the. That might be a horrible play. We'll keep this effort. Okay, we'll keep this. Here's what we'll do. Here's what we'll do. I got it. I got it. So we're gonna cloak the Trish. So we're gonna cloak Trish, right? So we have Zephyros right now on board already, and Trish. So this is the board. We're gonna cloak Trish. To have it like this. So Trish is now gone. We're now going to use Cloak and Summon Sork to go into Underclock. And now with the effect of the token, uh, Cloak, a third token comes. This is a third token of the game. 
of the uh, turn. And don't forget, guys, as I said before, Cloak's effect ring of tokens is not a hard one to return. Only the effect of summon itself from Grave. Card is busted. Now, with the token, we're going to go into Link Karibo. Link Karibo at Underclock. We're going to go into Rusty. Now, we're going to use Rusty effect to banish Cloak. Gonna set that. Banish uh, uh, Ancient Cloak. Uh, and we're going to add Boots to the situation right now. Hmm. Now, you're going to want to... Lots of options here. Uh, the best, I think... Maybe we should have kept the Summon Sorceress. We could have kept the Summon Sorceress instead of Zephyros if we wanted to. Because I had a feeling we might be able to Baguska and get rid of 6. But we won't be able to. Because we needed to save a token on field for Karibo. And we won't be able to do that. So... Can we get rid of Fog Blade? Uh, can we get a Fog Blade? Okay. Let me rethink this. Get a Fog Blade. Okay. Very simply, we're just going to keep the Summon Sorceress instead to have a bigger board. More stuff for them to clear for next turn to win. So what we're going to do instead is we're going to do this. We're going to Summon Sork. So it's like this. And then we're going to make Rusty right there. I'm going to make Rusty right there. By using this. It's the exact same result. It's just uh, Zephyros instead. And you're, this is your hand right now. We're just going to keep it that simple. There's no reason to over overcomplicate it. They can't play because you're going to get rid of six cards. So what you're going to do is, uh, instead of using it, it's the exact same end result. Literally the exact same. In fact, you even save your Link Karibo. Uh, you save your Link Karibo. So it was Trish, Cloak, and Zephyros. Trif Trish. Triff, I just said Triff, Triffula right here, bro. Uh, so the situation, I know I'm going to go back probably, but Trishula, Zephyros, Cloak. Trish, you get rid of Trish, bring on Cloak, Cloak, Zephyros, Underclock. The token comes out in Karibo, same res exact same result. You just save the Summon Sorceress. Uh, so the Summon Sork, Cloak, this, activate this. We set this, and now on their, tur uh, on their turn, we're going to activate Cloak. Or not close. Sorry, we're going to activate Brigadine. Getting rid of these two cards. Getting rid of the last two cards in their hand. So you get rid of six cards in their hand. One by Omega. One by... Uh, or one by Omega. Four by Gumblar. And one by Trish. So you get rid of six cards in their hand. And you got a fatty board. And uh, they have no cards left to play with. And on your turn, you this comes back. They have no cards to play with whatsoever. Trish gets rid of the Grave effect. Because Gumblar already got rid of two cards. So they're going to get rid of the grave effects first. So there's no like, oh, but why do they have grave effects? There is no grave effects. You just get rid of six cards. Uh, so it's like you literally just can't let them play. And uh, on the, on your turn, uh, this comes back and you attack for game. You attack for game. And on top of that, if they somehow have any grave effect to not die right away, uh, this is going to add a fog blade. So on the following turn, they can't play again. So that's a combo for you guys. Uh, it, it, every single turn is like this. We even drew, like we drew good, but we didn't draw like absolutely busted. But this may, every single, like, this is a, your, your turn. After they have six they have no cards left in hand. Uh, you, you bring the game to such a simplified game state where it's, uh, even their top deck doesn't matter. Like, they have zero cards to play with. And if you hand trap uh, anything, it just uh, it's, it makes it even easier. Uh, if your Electrum gets hand trapped, you still just play as normal. You still go through the whole combos. You still go through the, uh, the project, the, uh, the, what's the word I'm looking for? You just go through the normal plays that you want to do. And it, it, they gumbar one out of their hand for you. So, you just had to Omega once and then Gumball for four and then you have it like six again. Or even just Gumball for four and not Omega or Trish. It makes it even easier. Just Because just Gumballing for four with, with Rusty is too damn easy. So just like that, the level is zero cards and then you attack for game. So hope you guys like this video. Get another trap on top of that. Like this deck's insane. Uh, I'm not joking when I say it. Every single hand is like this. So it is a little longer video, but it's a long combo. So hope you guys enjoyed the video. Make sure to subscribe. Make sure to check out this mat. If you guys are interested, deck profile coming soon. And I will showcase you guys. Maybe let me know if you guys want. This video is a Patreon request for you. It's Imhoff. So this video is for you, bro. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. See you guys in the next video. Don't forget to subscribe. Peace.